searching for it, I actually came across this circular diagram. When I learned it in school, I never learned it in this way. How many of you learned it in this way? You, I, I see younger hands. I never learned it this way. Roland, did you learn it this way? No, it's two triangles. Yeah, two triangles, right, usually. But I, when I kind of search for Ohm's law, they basically uh, combine power, voltage, resistance, and current, and of course, the iteration of all of that. Yeah, yeah. If you, yeah. So basically, in a way, you can say that power, voltage, current, and resistance are kind of interrelated. And if you want to find one, uh, you can find the other. Um, if you're looking for power rating in in your sockets or something like that, these kind of equations will be useful. But once again, this is Ohm's law for DC circuits. All right. The next one is, um, of course, Kirchhoff's law that some of you also pointed out. So this is a kind of ties in with the vintage, right? Because Ohm and Kirchhoff are scientists by themselves. Which year were they? I think Kirchhoff was like 1847 or something like that. Ohm's like, kind of remember. So Kirchhoff's law, what are they? They are two laws. So one is the current law. Uh, who can say what's the current law? Yeah, all the current in is all the current out. And what about voltage? Voltage is kind of similar, but it is like the voltage uh, drop should equal to the voltage gain. Or rather, in this case, the battery is equal to the three voltage loads, the loads here. So that's kind of. Um, when do these laws not apply? That's a good question. Uh, I would say sometimes you have to take in the internal resistance of the battery. That's what you no, learn, right? No. no. It still applies, that's true. There's a really important category of circuit where that doesn't, where it doesn't apply. All right. So what would be that be? Uh, anything in the presence of a changing magnetic field. Oh, so that's AC? Uh, changing magnetic field? Yeah, but more externally induced. Right. Transformers Sorry? Like transformers, for example. Yes, actually, yeah. Transformers. So that's still AC, right? Yep. That's AC. Yeah, 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 but yeah. It's not just AC, it's about the induced current. I induced current, that's right. Uh, the next one, very quickly, will be resistors in parallel and series, which are same as the inductors. Like the equation is the same as inductors. Inductors uh, measured in Henry, of course. What is parallel and what is series? Oh, OK, that's a good question. So this is, this is in series. <laughs> No, that's a good question. Great question, all right? So back to basics, right? So this is in series, like your one after another. Parallel will be, if you have a wire here, that will be in parallel. So of course, for resistance, um, it, it is lower, and for inductance as well. But for capacitance, it is just the opposite. In series, it is the inverse, summation of inverse, and in parallel, you kind of sum them up. All right, and finally, I will point out <clears throat> Ohm's law for AC, I think uh, Roland kind of mentioned it, but it's a whole different ball game. So if I kind of zoom it, uh, I have the link to the website here, of course, you can go. But it's a whole different ball game because uh, where do you go? Like I is not just uh, like in parallel circuit, you have to do like summation and there is also imaginary numbers coming into play. I think I'll not go into that. <laughs> there's also sine, tangent, theta. There's reactance and power factor. So for Ohm's law for AC is different from Ohm's law for DC. That's because of the sinusoidal waveform. <coughs> so, yes? So what is reactance? Oh. <laughs> Would you like to answer? Come. <laughs> Say it. Huh? Say it. <laughs> Say it. No, say it. Royce, you know the answer. Come. Well, what is reactor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a, I'm just a newbie hammy. Come on, say it. Okay. Never mind. All right. And finally, I wanted to point out some physics law that might be pretty interesting. If you kind of Google for 17 equations that change the world, there are some things like Pythagoras theorem. A lot of them are mathematical. Laws of gravity, 
Uh, and um, but uh, I think Fourier transform is something that we use uh, for modulation, demodulation. Uh, there is also Pythagoras theorem a little bit for AC circuits in a slightly different way. When you try to calculate, calculate yeah, calculate reactants. So there are some. The rest are pretty much like uh, I would say more of physics, but it was interesting to see some physics last year as well. So in summary. If you are a beginner or want to revise, there is Ohm's law for DC circuits. There is Kirchhoff's law. There is also calculation for resistance, inductance, and capacitance. And a whole different bunch of equations for AC circuits. If you want to go through a thorough revision, sign up for ham radio license examination, and you will <laughs> go through all of this once again. All right, that's it. And uh, let's have a revision on this. Thank you.